Let's design a sidebar navigation for a dashboard interface that's good for both desktop and mobile. We'll do the whole thing inside of Figma, and then we'll throw some animated icons into our design to bring the whole thing to life. And before we finish, we'll move everything over to Webflow and actually implement our design into code. This is gonna be a really fun one. It's gonna be all about functional interface design with a little bit of pizzazz. Okay, let's get started designing our interface. We have a Figma file open here. You could use whatever design program you want, but I have some colors picked out and I have a desktop and a mobile frame. Uh, the desktop is 375, mobile is 130. Not Those aren't concrete numbers. I'm just kind of picking something that makes probably some sense for desktop and mobile sizes. We need to create line items and then fill those with icons and then be able to swap those in and out. Later on, we're gonna animate them. So why don't we start with the icons because uh, this video is actually sponsored by Lord Icon, which uh, is an amazing animated icon pack. There's over 4,800 animated icons. They're customizable, timing, easing, color, all that kind of stuff. Um, they're interactive. You can download them in all sorts of ways. Animated GIF, SVG, Lottie files, JSON, you name it, Lord Icon can pretty much do it. And the icons look really great. And they actually have two different styles. They have wired icons with outline flat and lineal styles. But they also have this amazing system icon pack that is so choice, and that's what we're gonna be doing. Now, if you're looking for icons, all you have to do is click on icons here at the top after you have created an account and choose where you'd like to go shopping. I'm gonna go for the system style here, explore the system icons, and then it brings me to all of these different icons. I can literally just hover over them and you can see the animations as they will kind of like play out, which they're all super cool animations. And because it's one pack, they all have a similar animation style. Um, and we have outline and solid styles as well. So we could click on solid there and get that solid filled style. You can also filter down by free icons, premium icons into all the categories. Like maybe we want to go to finance and we can look at all of these finance icons in the outline style. Now, if you like one of these, you have a couple different options here. You can add it to your favorites, add it to a collection, or you can reveal the full editor. So let's go look at the full editor really quickly and see all the different options you have using Lord Icon, right? Uh, so we can pause this, we can scrub through the animation to see it, switch the styles, and then we can actually change how this works. So do we want it to be uh, looping or do we want to loop on hover beautiful now we can just hover over it and get that looping animation and there's different motion types right so we can do it like an intro motion that's different than a standard hover see how that changed it's kind of appearing as from nothing and whereas this one is keeping the icon on the page in kind of a looping interactive way so we can change everything like scale access all that stuff but then we can also download these in all sorts of different formats embeddable html json mp4 gifs back to my figma file i have a lot of these already downloaded in svg format so what i'm going to do is just zoom out a little bit and i'm going to bring all of these amazing icons inside there they all are let's bring them over really nice system icons. We can start using these uh, to create our line items and the rest of our navigation. Let's, uh, we're actually kind of already using this one as the icon or the logo, so we can get rid of that one. We don't need it. Uh, but why don't we do something like this little home? And you might be wondering, well, where did I get all of these? Because some of these are just a little bit different. They're not all finance things. Like this is a notification bell and a gear icon. Went through Lord Icon and I built what's called a collection. So um, I could just add any of those to a collection. I found everything I needed and just popped it here into this file. And then when you make changes, you can maybe even like edit them if you want to, change them to different colors and apply them. And then you can apply them to all of the icons here and then download all of them. You'll get one pack in every possible format you could need, which is super cool. So I built myself a little collection uh, and then downloaded them all. So now we have everything we need. Um, why don't we build our first line item? I'm gonna pull this in um, and I'm just gonna line it up with my dashboard here, just like that. Uh, I'm going to uh, maybe shift A and turn it into an auto layout in Figma and just center everything. And now we have our first icon. It's looking pretty good, um, but we want to be able to uh, possibly have something else in there. So program is just a basic Chevron. It doesn't need to animate. We'll do the animating for it, right? So we have like a little uh, Chevron so that this can 
actually extend beautiful just like this and why don't we um, actually extend this text out so that our icon is always our little accordion is always like at the very end there right so now we can type inside of here it can be very very long um, but it will never ever bump or move our little icon there and we have some basic spacing in here because we're using auto layouts let's do more like 16 pixels of spacing and then let's line this up on the left hand edge beautiful this looks perfect All right, we've placed the majority of our list items in there. They're a little bit cramped and I've actually put them all into an auto layout, which is super nice because now I can just expand them out and give them a little bit more breathing room. So uh, let's stay with an eight pixel grid, uh, kind of like layout. We'll do eight times, something like six, um, and then let's drop it back down. Eight. So we're at about 40 pixels of space in between our line items. And you can see inside of that auto layout, we even added a spacer. It's nice, even spacing. The one thing I'm not liking is I've sectioned these out, but I need some sort of little section separator, I think, to kind of show these are main menu and maybe some of these are like different settings, right? So let's do that really quick. We also need to be thinking about active states, right? So let's do an active state, just a nice line over here. Um, that just shows maybe a hover or currently active. And I think we actually have some nice colors picked out. So I'm gonna hit I for the eyedropper, boom, just like that. And uh, I'm gonna select that and that and make sure that we are aligned nicely. Yeah, that looks good. We can tell that we're active there. We could change the color uh, to this icon if we wanted to, or maybe the text um, could be that same color just to show that it is an active, um, yeah, like an active link or item. Um, so that's pretty cool. We're on our dashboard right there. All right, now that we have our desktop and mobile versions of our sidebar navigation built out, it's looking really clean. Uh, the spacing is nice, using auto layout, all that kind of stuff. We need to add some animation into this. And so let's do that uh, by grabbing one of our, um, our line items here. And I'm just gonna paste it right here to the side. We're gonna need to create a component out of this, but before we do, we're gonna need to bring in an extra piece, which is I've downloaded the GIF version of this same uh, icon. This is our like little money change icon. And we need to get it down to the similar size, which is about 28 pixels, okay? Um, I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna paste it here as well. So now I have the SVG version and I have the animated GIF. You can tell it's the animated GIF because it's a little rigid and the SVG one is just really, really clean. Why don't we, I'm gonna drag the animated GIF here inside like so. And I'm going to, um, I'm actually just going to bring the opacity of the GIF down to zero and leave the SVG exposed. Now I'm gonna replace what's currently in there. I'm gonna take this old one away. This icon now has an SVG and an animated GIF inside of it. I wanna create an icon, or excuse me, a component out of this entire line item. Hit component, turn it into a component, right? And then we want to be able to create a variant, right? So let's hit variant right up here in Figma. Variant two is gonna be the animated state. Okay, so we're gonna call it animated. Let's zoom out so you can see what we're working with. We have the default, we have the animated. All we're gonna do is come into this one, you guessed it, and turn the opacity of the GIF up and turn the opacity of the other things down to zero. And now we have to wire it up. Go to prototype and click on the row. And I'm just gonna drag it down to the other state and say on, not on click, but while hovering, I want you to change to the animated state instantly. We don't have to even go back the other way because we're just saying while you're hovering over this entire line, go ahead and animate that little coin for me. But when I'm not, right? Because the the uh, trigger was while I'm hovering, right? not mouse enter or mouse leave, but just while I'm hovering. Okay, so with that done, we should be able to go to our document assets and drag one out. Let's just replace it with our componentized version. And we should now be able to press play on our prototype and hover over and we get our nice hover effect there. It looks great in my design tool, but how hard is it to actually implement these animated icons inside of my website or inside of my application? It's actually really, really easy. I have a Webflow project opened up and inside of each one of these little nav items, I have a lot of animation and a headline. So really all I have to do is come in here uh, to that area, press plus and drop down 
uh, to my Lottie animation section. There it is right there. In all, all my types of media, Lottie animation is one. I can click on that and say, hey, which Lottie animation do we want to pop in? I think we're actually popping in our little home. So I'm going to just grab the home. And what's great in Webflow is I can roll over them and see the animation. I'm going to put my little home animation inside of it, okay? I'm going to drag it over to the left-hand side. And it is really, really big compared to the other ones. Remove this class and do Lottie Animation 2. It actually sizes and spaces it for me. I already had a class built, right? So now we have that class inside. And you can see that when I hover over uh, in Webflow, I have this on the row item, I actually have this little interaction symbol. That means I've created a custom interaction. You could do this in your own website custom by just using some JavaScript, but in Webflow, it makes it really, really easy. All I've done is selected that item and I've come in and I've created an element trigger. We've said, hey, on mouse hover, here's what I want you to do. On hover, start an animation. And here's what that animation does. It's actually going to start the Lottie animation and stop the animation, okay? And then when we hover out, I wanna start another one that basically just sets it back to its original state. That's all we did, literally, that's all we did. And and if you're like wondering, well, how did you get these elements? I just opened up my, uh, my assets panel inside of Webflow. And this time I used the actual JSON, which is a bunch of code. It spit my SVG um, uh, icon out as code, JSON code. And I just drug these in, right? So I, I said, hey, give me this one, drag it in and it uploads it and pops it in. And now we have like Lottie animations inside of our project. So download them as Lottie files, drop them into your Webflow project, right? And, or, or just call to that JSON using JavaScript, put it in place, style it a little bit, and just basically tell Webflow or whatever other web builder or custom website how you want it to interact. If you wanna see them take place in Webflow, you just click the little eyeball so we could do preview, or we can publish it, we get a little animation here. This is all Lord Icon stock animation. It's looping now. We turned it on to loop. And then when we hover over, we get all of our animations in the left hand nav bar. And it looks super slick. If you've watched this whole video and you're interested in trying this out for yourself a little bit more, we have a new design challenge coming up in the Hey Creative Discord server. The Hey Creative Discord server is my kind of like creative club. You can join for free. There's a link down in the description. And the challenge is to design a dashboard interface using animated icons. And if you sign up for this challenge, it's free to sign up. You'll get 30 days free to Lord Icon that you can use for this project. And the three winners of this project, there's gonna be three winners of this design challenge, and they're gonna get one year free of Lord Icon to use anywhere, anytime. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and maybe even hit that little bell notification icon so you know when another video like this one comes out. I hope you're having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things, making amazing things, and I hope you're adding a little spice to your project. See you in the next one.